Today we'll show you how to hack the throttle from a Razer electric vehicle one that has five pin to an aftermarket throttle which has only three pins. So almost all Razer electric vehicles have a throttle that have five pins. It doesn't matter whether it's a Razer electric scooter, Razer electric go-kart or this one is the Razer crazy cart. They all have the throttle they have five pin cable and on the other hand the aftermarket throttle they all have connector that uh, has only three pin this one got three pins and also this one here only has three pin so if your throttle is broken on your Razer electric vehicle you cannot use an aftermarket throttle to replace because it only has three pin the original one has five pins this proprietary throttle is a lot more expensive than this aftermarket throttle sometimes it's ten times more expensive than the aftermarket one so in this video we'll show you a trick to replace the original throttle with the aftermarket one so what I have here today is a Razer Crazy Cart and it has a foot pedal throttle that is so hard to use if you have a crazy cart the first generation you know exactly what I'm talking about this foot pedal throttle in order for it to work you have to press it all the way straight down up and down like this it looks like a, a shaft but it only travels straight up and down if you press it at an angle it will be stuck like this it will be stuck if you press on the bottom at an angle it will be stuck the only way for it to go down it, you have to press it at this angle straight down then it will go down so when I use this a lot of time I got stuck because I don't always press it straight down so this throttle is very frustrating to use I have a new aftermarket throttle and I'm going to try and replace it with this aftermarket throttle. This throttle is a lot easier to use. You can press it down at any angle and it never gets stuck. And this is why the newer generation of the Razer Crazy Cart, they all come with this kind of throttle and not this. But the problem with this aftermarket throttle is that it's got only three pins whereas the original Razer throttle has five pins and here is the throttle cable from the controller and it's got six pins that makes it even more confusing but if you take a look at the throttle cable from the front uh, foot pedal it only has five pins and the pin right in the middle is not used it's missing so that's the pin right on the bottom in the middle here and what makes it more confusing is that the color from the foot pedal doesn't match the corresponding color from the controller but anyway um, it's pretty simple if you take a look at the connector of the controller you see on the top we got red black and green okay on the bottom you got orange black and yellow the cable in the middle is not used okay this black cable is not used what you want to do is you want to short out the two cables on the bottom the orange and the yellow one okay so that's this pin and that pin right there so what I do is I use a paper clip and I bend it into a U shape like this and then I short it out just connect it to the pins the two pins right here that's it on the top we have three cables left right we got red we got black and green and these three cables is gonna match exactly with my aftermarket pins here the aftermarket cable they always come with three color red 
black and green. Some come with white, but always have red and black. So red is positive, black is negative, and green or white is variable. So all I'm going to do now to connect my aftermarket throttle to this controller is to match the color on this connector. So red, I'm going to connect directly onto the connector. Just like that. And black go right in the middle. And green goes right on the side like that. Just like that. And to prevent these pins from sorting out, I already put some tapes on it. You can see here, got some tape on it. Or, just to be sure, I'm going to use my uh, heat shrink tubing. So it's going to go about, I would say about halfway down the pins. Just like that. Just like that. Now it won't shot out. Push it right in. That's it. I'm going to use my hot glue gun and just, just going to glue everything together. Now I've got a new connector. Check this out. Just like that. Now it's a moment of truth. Let's try and see if it works. I'm gonna plug in my battery. Turn it on. You hear the relay click. Now let's see if it works. Aha! There we go. Let me show you what happens when you don't short out the two pins on the bottom of this connector. So I have just removed the paper clip. Now let's try and turn it on. See what happens. You can see that there's no relay click on the controller. And if I press on the gas pedal nothing's gonna happen but if I shot out the two pins with a paper clip now when I turn it on you hear a relay click and whoa. so now I just have to remove this and put the new aftermarket throttle in so I got the original throttle out I just have to remove the three screws on the bottom here and pull it right out. So here it is, all complete. Mind the two screws, one here, one here. And then the wire go through here, down the bottom, all the way to the back, then up through this hole. Plug this in, boom, we're done. Time for a test drive. Ready? Yay! Ready? Yes. Go.
No, Mom? <laughs> That's double. Uh oh. Battery is out. Uh. So, is it better with a new uh, turtle? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. No more uh, stock? No more stock. Go.